Let's look at how rules can be created in the Project Setup Station. I'll open up a document definition, and then I'll view the document structure. And I'll select the letter to field, and then the letter from field, and I'll create a new rule. You must select one of these rules. There's out-of-the-box rules as well as a custom rule. Custom rules are scripted. So I'll select a comparison rule, and in the next dialog, we can set whether the severity level is error or warning. So a warning is a non-critical setting, whereas an error is a critical setting that would prevent a document from exporting. Rather, that document would go to the exceptions queue. One can also specify if this rule should execute based on some condition or always. And so to select a condition, you can select a field and specify whether the field is empty or is not empty or contains certain data or doesn't contain certain data. So if it wasn't for this GUI-based conditional export, you would have to script the entire rule. Again, based on the premise that you needed a certain condition to execute so that by including this conditional export option, we can use out-of-the-box rules and fire them off when they meet criteria. A very handy thing. We'll click the Next button, and here we can specify which fields to compare. So hypothetically, we could compare the letter to and the letter from fields, and if they match, that could certainly signal an error. And a very important thing that we can do here is specify whether or not we want to do an exact comparison or a fuzzy comparison. If we were comparing numeric values, we would always want an exact comparison, but longer text strings, we may want to use a fuzzy algorithm, and that fuzzy match will match two strings even if they're not perfectly the same. And the longer the string, the more errors are allowed. We will now select the Finish button and note that we can rename rules as needed. And also, you have the ability to enable or disable a rule, which is great. If multiple rules apply to one field, you can set them in a certain execution order using this chains function.